So over here, let's suppose that we're running a few tests. And on the whole, we need to run 50 tests. So we're just going to label them by going to equal sequence. Hit the tab key there, and we just want to have 50 rows. Close those brackets and hit enter. Now you can see that we go from one all the way to 50. Similarly, over here, let's say that these tests are going to start on the 1st of January, 2024. They're going to go on every week. So every seven days. We can also specify that using the sequence formula. So we'll go equal sequence. Hit the tab key there. For the rows, we want the same 50 rows, comma. The columns is if we want something to move horizontally, which we don't. So we'll put just a comma there. And for the start, we want to specify the date. So we'll hit the date formula, hit the tab key. And for the year, we set 2024, comma. The month, we set one, comma. And the day, at one. We'll close those brackets, comma. And the step here is the frequency. In this case, we said once a week. So it's every seven days. So we're just going to put a seven there. Close those brackets and hit enter. Now you can see what that looks like where we have the step for every seven days. Like and follow for daily tips.